Dinosaurs, pirates, merfolk, vampires, and an exploration deep within Ixalan. That means it's lost caverns of Ixalan season, and it's time for some Commander Deck Hints. Good morning, Magic. I'm Gavin Verhey from Wizards of the Coast. And coming up tomorrow, October 24th, is the debut for the new foray into Ixalan. You can tune in at 9 a.m. Pacific time on YouTube and Twitch to hear all about what to expect. Today, I'm going to give you some little hints about what you'll be finding in the Commander decks. Ready? Let's dig in. Okay, so there are four Commander decks this time around, and they're built around something quite popular. You see, the main set of Lost Caverns of Ixalan is decidedly less about creature types than the first time around. There's still some peppered in here and there, but it's not really about that. However, we know players love those types. So, hmm, four creature types, that's the perfect number for Commander. Each of these four decks spotlights a different creature type, and this is the place where those types can really shine. So let's cover what to expect in the four decks and where you'll catch the decks revealed at. First up, we have Blood Rites, the white-black deck featuring the vampires. This one is going to be shown off by old standbys, you love them, the Command Zone. Next up, there's Green-Blue Explorers of the Deep, featuring the Merfolk. This one will be revealed by our good friends over on Commander Versus. Then there's Ahoy Mateys! the blue-red-black pirate deck. This one is going to be shown off by Infrequentes, and if you don't know them, they're an awesome Spanish-speaking channel. Be sure to check out their reveal. And finally, in a truly delightful deck name, we have Velasa Ramp Tour for all those dino fans out there. This one will be shown off by MTG Mudsta. When, might you ask? Well, they're all going to be shown off on November 1st, so circle your commander-loving calendars for a real rush of content all about those cards that day. Now, let's get into the decks themselves. Each of these decks has 10 brand new cards. Additionally, there are eight unique designs not found in the decks, but focused for commander, inset, and collector boosters. Kind of like how Wedding Ring or Bernard were. These kind of cards are going away when the set boosters go away, with our change in play boosters with Murders at Karloff Manor, but we aren't quite there yet, so Ixalan has one more batch in main sets for you. What can we expect among these cards? Well, I've got 12 hints for you today. Now, as a reminder, these are only about the new cards in the Commander decks and Set Booster Commander cards, and they don't have all the information, so you're going to have to do a little bit of filling in the blanks. Let's kick it off. Hint number one. There is a one mana creature that taps for three mana. Yep, you heard that right. Hint number two. There is a card with both Populate and Proliferate. What could that do? Hint number three. There is a card that is a color-shifted version of a popular commander card from last Ixalan block. Hint number four. There is a card that has an ability that begins whenever you cast a non-creature spell you don't own, and you'll have to speculate on what the rest is. Hint number five. There is a card called the Indomitable. Hint number six. There is a dinosaur with the same exact name as its creature type. Start looking at creature types and make your best guess. Hint number seven. There is a legend that puts flood counters on permanence. Hint number eight. There is a card that counts devotion to white and black. Hint number nine. There is a legend with the type human fungus pirate. Spooky. Hint number 10. There is a card named Skeleton Crew. Hint number 11. There is a card with an ability that contains treasures you control are something in addition to their other types. You'll have to figure out the blank on your own. And hint number 12. There are a ton of returning mechanics, including Coven, Persist, Proliferate, Retrace, and even a new card with Partner. Now, that's all 12 hints, but that's not everything. I also wanted to take this opportunity to show you some new artwork. We're going one per deck. Let's take a look. Up first is a brand new Admiral Brass. You might remember her previous card. Well, this one is called Admiral Brass Unsinkable, and hopefully, after you play her, that's how you'll feel. She commands the Pirates deck. Next, 
another legend, but not a character you know. I want to introduce you to Weta, trainer prodigy. As you can tell, she likes hanging around with dinosaurs. But as you probably can't tell yet, she inspires a pretty unique kind of commander deck. Up next, we have our art from the Merfolk deck. But what's that? It's not a Merfolk at all. This cute little guy was just too happy to not be shown off here. Aww. And finally, this piece out of the Vampire deck. I know two things. I love this piece of artwork and whatever is going on in the art, I definitely do not want to be involved in. To see more about all of this, don't miss the debut tomorrow. It's going to be a blast. And enjoy speculating away. So there you go, some hints for Commander. I'll talk with you again soon. And until then, have fun guessing at all of these. I look forward to seeing your guesses in the comments down below. And remember everybody, you got this. Let's start by talking about where Popper is. Commander Masters added a ton of cards into the format, from Cryptic Serpent, to Dread Return, to All That Glitters, to Murmuring Mystic, and more. Hot on the heels of the Lord of the Rings Tales of Middle-Earth, the formats had a lot of adjusting to do. Where things seem to have sh-